I know this is long, guys. Stick with me. Um, we got a few more left, and at the end, I have two guns that are probably the coolest over anything, but we're getting almost to the end. Kind of. We got, like, seven more guns left. Here is a JG AK. This is an uh, AK that has real wood. I think this is an AK-74U. I don't know the exact different ones. Uh, it's definitely has, it's like the longer barrel. It's got this folding stock, and it's got real wood on it, and this real wood has actually been beat to trash. So it kind of looks better, honestly. It's like a redwood. I'm not a huge fan of the redwood stuff, um, but it does have a flash hider up here too. I don't think this is stock because it's not on correctly. However, it makes it look a little bit cooler, I guess. But cool little AK. I like AKs. I kind of might, I might actually try and run that in the game, to be honest. Um, but then there's another AK. So this is more of the tactic, tactic style AK. This is the, um, it looks like it's been polished. So the receiver has been polished and it's pretty smooth. It's kind of like one of those, oh, I'm going to use this for end of days events. And then the charge handle has actually been broken off. Um, this has got the super huge, I think these hold like 900 rounds for these AK high caps, the super huge banana mags. Um, so honestly, you could go kind of like a whole day playing with that sometimes if you play in like a, a, an event where you don't maybe shoot as much or your kid who doesn't shoot as much. And it's got the big giant orange flash hider up there the next sniper we have on the list i have no idea what brand this is but it looks cool i think it's a d boys well something it doesn't even have a full travel bolt so you can see this i'm gonna pull the bolt back just a little bit that's all the bolt travel so it doesn't even have a full travel and i was like i wonder if it's not going to shoot that hard fps wise i was right it doesn't shoot very hard fps at all uh, but actually it comes with a decent scope these are probably like 30 bucks and then has a bipod honestly i might be i'm thinking that the scope and, and bipod might be worth more than the actual gun itself, which is kind of sad, but this thing just feels really cheap plastic wise, but it's going to make a great plinker. So if any of you want a super cheap sniper rifle, I'm your guy. Next up, we have a gun that I actually wasn't sure if I would even like at all, but this is a sweet shotgun. So this thing, like, it's sweet. It's, it's probably like 35 bucks if I'm being honest. I have no idea exactly how much it is, um, but it's magazine fed. It's not shell fed. It's single shot. It actually shoots pretty decent. I was shooting like to the targets in my woods for like 90 feet. And that was honestly something I was kind of surprised that it would do. Um, we haven't even hit the pistols yet. So this video is going to be like 25 minutes. I kind of apologize, but hopefully these things are cool enough that you guys won't dislike. I'm going to save two of the rifles and one of the pistols for the end because I think those are the coolest pieces. But we're going to go ahead and try and start with these right here. So this is something he said oh yeah i have i think i have one of those i actually uh and then he like i met him uh yesterday and he has two of them they are elite force 1911 tax there's two of them with two different lanyards so if any of you guys are trying to dual wield like i am um i actually had one of these for a while these look like they're in pretty good shape to be honest i had one of these for a while i actually tricked it out i put the magpul grips on here as well um, these things shoot incredible. I won a pistol shooting competition at Fallen Warriors with one of these babies. It was awesome. I actually won a free pistol as a KJW High Kappa. Um, but the, these things are so cool. They're such good pistols. They work well. They're workhorses. Man, they are, they're light enough that I actually like, can see, I ran one of these for a while and I don't really like to run pistols for the most part because if I have my primary, at a mill sim, I'll run a pistol. Um, because I need it, but like at open plays and stuff, there's no need to run a pistol. If I run out of rounds or something, I switch mags. I don't ever need something to draw on. Just adding a holster and something that kind of jumps around. And if you guys have seen, uh, airsoft pistols fall apart more than anything else. So if you see those guys run off the start, airsoft pistols are the ones that fall out. And I didn't want to do that. This comes with a serp. This is a fake serp, bro. Yeah, there's no way this is real. The lines aren't good enough. Um, Got to be able to tell those curves. Got to be able to tell the curves. And you can't, like, that just doesn't... You can tell those don't look, but those pistols are awesome. Next up for pistols, we have a Desert Eagle. And then after that, I'll show you guys something that's super, super rare. This is a Marushan, um, but we'll get to that in a second. First, we have a Saima Desert Eagle. This is just a standard Desert Eagle. Um, I actually got just got a silver one that's in the boxing. So this one has two mags. One works, one doesn't. And these things are huge. They don't, I don't think they shoot the best, to be honest. With how big they are, I used to own a pair of Tokyo Marie. Actually, I've owned three Tokyo Marie hard kick guns at one point, and those things, oh my goodness, those hard kick pistols are awesome. And so they shoot super well too, and they these do kick hard. Like I'll give them that, and they're cool. 
but they're not exactly the most practical pistol. I don't know who's running this around with this, and if you are, you're impressive, but I'm just honestly not sure who is running around. Next up is the prettiest pistol of the day, and maybe one of the prettiest pistols I've ever owned. I did own two hard, or the, of the metal uh, kit 1911s that were, I don't even know what brand those were, but they were Tokimuri internals and then had a metal external that was awesome. But this is a Marushan double action revolver. And these are so rare. He got it off of Red Wolf. Um, this is the Colt Anaconda 44 Magnum in real life. And this thing, like, you'll see it in the B-roll shot. This thing is gorgeous. It reflects so well. Um, comes with the individual shells. And these things are made out of actual brass. Like, these are heavy, uh, or heavier, maybe a little bit heavier than an actual round would be. Or right about the same because they have the tip at the end. Um, but these rounds are huge. I believe the rest of it's plastic just because that's what Marushan has to do with the Japanese laws and stuff. I wish this could be metal, um, but I have no idea how much this thing is worth, but I'm guessing it's quite a bit. It doesn't look like it's been used a ton, but imagine whipping this out at a game and kind of like shooting people with it. Uh, you only get six shots and it's gas powered, but these Marushan pistols are so rare. So I'm going to have a fun time looking up exactly how much these are worth afterwards, but it was from Red Wolf and he had to get it imported. Um, to the US Next pistol. This is just a really crappy non blowback. So I'm not even gonna go over that. I think it was like 30 bucks He said this is a KWA CZ that has been polished and I'm not even sure if it works to be honest The whole external has been polished except for the grips obviously, but safety everything it literally just looks completely silver um, I think it's kind of cool. It looks good. The polishing job was done. Well, I don't, it definitely makes it look more rustic and look more like it was carried or something. Um, but I don't know who would do this to the real one. So I'm kind of curious why someone did it with airsoft gun, but it's cool. It, it just looks cool. I've never used one of these before in my life. I remember when KWA came out with them, they looked really cool, but I mean, honestly, not sure if I would ever run something like that. Next up, <laughs> last, but certainly not least of the pistols. I don't think there's any other pistols. Praise the Lord. Um, this is the WE Nighthawk. This comes in the custom case. Evike releases these. This looks sweet. I ended up opening it and like, let's just check this out real quick. Like the thing slides out like this. Look at that. Like opens in the case and then you have to unwind this to do it, but it looks really cool. I think he put other grips on this as well. I don't think these are the grips that came with it. They, they're kind of made um, just really cool little like white grips. I think they're meant to look like ivory, but obviously they're not real ivory because that would be illegal and this is airsoft stuff and there's no way they're putting those on a pistol. It's got a compensator on it as well. And this is apparently has a new nozzle. So it's got some upgrades, comes with three mags in it, but it's just one like really cool little unique thing. And it also lights up. So the inside of it, you can put it on normal mode, on stro strobe mode, and then there's like a low power light mode. So that's just kind of cool and something that's definitely a unique part of the build. Okay, last three guns. I think we're at it. Um, also got some BBs. So yeah, I always need some BBs. These are the 0.23s and the 0.3s. CO2 cans. Everybody needs a CO2 can. Thank the Lord that Rob's here because I don't know what in the world I would do if I had to do this by myself. These are just some externals. So I got a crap ton of parts. So this is just some uh, lower receivers. You can obviously, there's a mag release. There's three plastic lower receivers in here. There's a hair style bipod, which is actually decent. There's a box, some rails, some gearboxes. There's an old school US holster in here. I'm just showing you guys these things because they're huge um, and they are a part of the unboxing. But if I were to go over each individual part of them, you guys would get annoyed. Uh, there's a motor in here. This is a classic army motor. It's stock, so it's okay. Yep, the lower, it actually comes, there's a classic army lower in here, so I'm thinking there's a classic army gearbox um, that's either taken apart. There's two other gearbox shells in here, and then Jared's already taken some of the other stuff. This is a well, I believe this is well, MP5, it does not work, or it's stuck in semi-auto only. Well came out with MP5s, no, this is a Galaxy. Galaxy, or, no, I can't remember. This is the gas-powered MP5 that never works, and everybody wanted it a while ago but none of them ever worked. So they were really cheap and just every time they would break. Um, but this does have two mags that apparently hold gas, which is actually a miracle because most of them don't. Hey, the mags actually fit in. Um, apparently it only shoots full auto. 
if you do it. But gas powered MP5 is a cool idea. However, it just doesn't look like this. I mean, these guns, I just heard they were broken all the time. They're actually kind of rare. So these are rare, but because they never work, they're even rarer because then no one wants them. So people just kind of throw them away. But it's a cool little gun. Okay, now we have three guns left. Next up is a Valken V12. I'm not a huge fan of Valken. You guys know that. Um, they're okay. They're kind of cool. Their engines are really good, even if they stole them from Polar Star or stole whatever from Polar Star. Um, but Jared loves the Valken V12, and so I got a Valken V12. He's put it in here, said it wasn't working, but he just didn't really know what the settings um, were. It works well. It was in this G&G upper and then G&G lower. I took it out because I this upper and lower is kind of cheap. It has a really nice suppressor on here. Um, this is actually an ASG suppressor. It's got a really cool, um, I think this is a Stark Arms grip. Yeah, no, this is a Strike Industries. This is a Strike Industries vertical foregrip or angled foregrip. Um, has some sort of red dot on here. This works, but this engine alone is like 200 bucks. And so that's really cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get back into HPA, to be honest. I've done so much HPA stuff. I like it. However, I didn't like running a tank a ton. So I don't know if I'm going to be running um, that at all. Oh, comes with a regulator. This is actually like a $150 regulator. This is a red line regulator. It's got an insane refresh rate. And it's the F SFR regulator. But red line makes some incredible regulator stuff for airsoft as well as paintball. You guys don't know how long I've wanted one of these area amiibos, but I finally ended up purchasing one. Um, these things, if you guys have, I, I mean, I remember like, so those of you that have been around a while knew that I worked for Z-Shop for a little while and I always was going to buy one and then never kind of did because I had my guns, but I got to use these enough at events. I ran this at American Milsim uh, Faded Giant and I think I ran another one at ironclad so i ran one of these and these had just come out and i remember it was like three or four years ago when these came out everyone was so hyped these were like oh wow you guys have amoebas these look like the honey badger you guys finally came one out and we weren't allowed to call it honey badger it was the am um 13 because they weren't allowed to come from honey badger because if they if aac like had any idea that we'd copied one not that they were caught co were copies but they just kind of look like um a honey badger so there could potentially be stuff with that however these are obviously very different you can tell they're amoeba and their grips are different but it's a really cool design and aries did a great job with these they have nice um mosfets in there sometimes they do fry however like the internals are pretty good and to get a high, as high of a rate of fire and trigger response as these things do stock you're just gonna kind you have to run mosfets and eventually like electronic stuff can have the potential um, to fry because that's just kind of how it is. This is a WE high cap that has been turned into a race gun. You guys saw the belt earlier. I'm going to have some fun messing with this. It's going to be really interesting. I don't really know a ton about race pistols and stuff. I have built a few high caps that are TM in my days. I remember getting this and I, he pulled it out of the box and I was like, oh my gosh, like, please let that be TM. But I could tell it was WE. I knew it like in my heart it was WE. Not that WE is not good. It's just TM is like, if WE is here, TM is probably like, here it's they're just they create such good guns and there's a reason everyone builds race pistols out of tm bases however this has some pretty nice stuff so this comes um, with three mags they're all green gas mags and has an insane mag well in here this mag well is huge you could i like i don't think there's any way to possibly reload this wrong unless you put the mag in sideways this just feeds even if you put it in kind of at an angle it still like feeds super well um, into the chamber. It has a 170% recoil spring on there. So you can tell like this slide is is smacking back and that's going to cycle incredibly quickly. I do like the front. It kind of has a compensator. Um, it has a newer nozzle on it, nicer nozzle, 170% uh, hammer and uh, recoil spring. So you got those upgrades. And then I think this trigger is not stock. And then obviously up here on top, it's an NC star red dot. I think that's the same mounting system. Um, but this actually seems pretty solid and it's red and green and so it looks really cool when you're shooting it i have no idea if it's accurate however the guy did say he did some events at fallen warriors where he actually shot it um but this is the last gun guys i'm so excited for this it came in a gun case itself so you know it's probably going to be good you guys know that i kind of saved the best for last to keep you guys kind of like waiting but i think this is so worth it um i actually had one of these a while ago I don't know if I ever made, I think I made a video on it, but it's been a long time. I've wanted one of these again for a while. The reason I got rid of it is because I didn't have mags. This 
is an HK417 with an ACOG and then really cool flash hider on here. And this thing is so pretty. These things are huge. It came with three mid caps. So these are like, I think these are pretty much like 20 bucks a piece. So three mid caps and then one high cap. And so obviously the high cap comes with it. But these things are so expensive and the mags look really cool. You can see that it looks like it has a 7.62 round in there. This gun is awesome. I'm super excited to go out and shoot this. I'll probably, honestly, as soon as I finish this, this is the first thing I'm gonna go shoot. Um, but these things are awesome. They do have crappy stock pistons in them. However, they are just a cool gun. I've already filed off um, the thumb groove on there because I don't like that on their pistol grips. I love their pistol grips, but I don't like that thumb groove just because I think it's an odd placement. So I went ahead and dremeled it off. But this gun is super cool. I'm super excited for this. I think just for a 7.62 like, platform, I know it's kind of hard these mags are really big and bulky, and so it's hard to use them, but just a great gun, great accuracy, great range on these stock, and then I think I'm probably going to upgrade this, to be honest, now that I have mags for this and kind of use this as like maybe a DMR setup. I know it has a shorter barrel for it, um, but maybe a, potentially I could work something out and get this a little bit longer or put like a Prometheus barrel in here. Dang, this video was close to 30 minutes. I don't know how. Hopefully you guys like this. If you stayed all the way to the end of the video, comment 30 minutes, 417, 30 minutes, 417. I'll be impressed. I'll probably like your comment because if you sat through this entire 30 minute video, that means you're really invested in my channel. And I really appreciate that because I upload these videos for you guys and I get all these guns every year around Christmas for you guys because I think this is fun. I think this is something um, that we can do together. And so it's just great to be able to do this as an Alec Mac 101 team. Um, you guys are great. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Um, hopefully you guys got some pretty cool stuff, uh, but you're awesome. This has been Alec Mac 111, and I'll see you guys later. Have a happy new year.